Um, could you speak a little bit to uh, what the, the plaintiff's main issues were and, and some of the things that are outlined in, um, in, the, uh, in the case right now? Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the big issues was the uh, accommodations. There were very few accommodations allowed, uh, completely against uh, Canadian law. It's established Canadian law from our Supreme Court that uh, if you have a religious belief, that you will be accommodated if it, unless it causes undue hardship. Uh, the CAF's got a really hard argument there on undue hardship because they've done religious accommodations for years for different religions. In this case, they actually, uh, we caught them saying there will be no accommodations. Uh, we've caught them saying that there's only 25 recognized religions in the Canadian Armed Forces. Now, that's, a, that's not law in Canada. Um, we've got uh, priests and chaplains being told their beliefs aren't sincere enough <laughs> to get a religious accommodation. Um, I don't know how much more sincere you have to be. Yeah. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, a, I don't a, know. A priest that, was told he's not Catholic <laughs> enough? Yeah, that his, his faith is not sincere enough to have a religious accommodation. 